everybody and welcome back to my channel I don't want to sound like I was singing that to you <laughs> um, I hope you are having a nice week I hope you're looking forward to what I'm going to talk about today because it is very much up my alley of mindset and building your confidence which is what I'm really really passionate about and that's that's exactly what I want to focus on today I want to talk about our mindsets because a mindset and what goes on up here and what stews and happens and we think about all the time is literally everything in our life. So it's the beginning, it's the middle, it's the end, it's the in-betweens, it's the extras, it's the little bits and bobs, it's everything. Everything that's going on in our mind is what plays out in our life. So it is quite literally, your mindset is everything. So I wanted to chat to you a little bit about that today. So let's get into it. So a perfect place to start when it comes to mindset is all about what's happening in your head, right? So there's two parts to your head. There's your conscious and your subconscious. Your subconscious is really, a lot of that is what we think is all those inner voices that get like run around in our heads and tell us all that negative stuff that we're always listening to about ourselves. All that negative chatter that happens in our head, we think comes from our subconscious. Our conscious mind is all the stuff that we're paying attention to and looking out for and thinking about, um, willingly thinking about, right? And the subconscious is all the stuff we not so willing to think about or it just comes about us actively going there, right? But I can tell you this, what you spend your life thinking about willingly in your conscious mind is what fuels your subconscious. Your subconscious mind takes out of your conscious what you give it and it uses that. And your subconscious uses that at times you don't even know about. So whatever you feed it is what it's going to populate itself with. And that's why we so often think like all oh, this negative chatter, where is it coming from? Like those little voices inside. But they come because you give it to them. So the very important thing for you to do is to always know and be conscious um, and be aware of what you are thinking. If you are thinking negative stuff, you need to stop yourself. You need to always, always, always be filling your mind with positive things. Now I know it's not always 100% easy, but what I'm saying to you is that if you are aware that you are going into a negative space or you are thinking something negative, you need to consciously change it. Because the more you spend time delving over that negative stuff, the more your conscious mind is giving your subconscious mind more and more to feed on. And that positive stuff can be anything you can give it. You can stop yourself in, in like mid-negative sentence and think about a holiday you've got planned. Think about where you're going to be, where you're going. Um, you can stop yourself in a negative state and think about your children and what they give you and how much reward you have and how much love you have for them. You can stop yourself mid-thought mid and think about an evening you have planned that evening with your partner or with friends or whatever it may be and think about how enjoyable that's going to be and what you're going to feel. So it's all about going, whoa, 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 joy. You're thinking negative thoughts. You're going into that negative space again. Let's stop and go somewhere else. Give yourself another perspective. I'm going to take away from the fact that I don't feel recognized at work and I'm consuming myself with it and I'm overanalyzing it and I'm going to think about my holiday this weekend that I have planned and go there. It's as easy as that and I know it sounds easier than maybe what it is but it's, it is easy but you, the, the hardest part is actually making yourself aware. So when you're thinking, oh my God, here I'm going again, trundling off on these negative thoughts, you need to stop yourself. You have to have the balls and um, the braveness to go, whoa, stop. Stop thinking that, think about something else. And every time you go there and think of the negative, switch it off and change. So a few things you can do to stop yourself as well and to start yourself being conscious of what you're doing. And this is something I use all the time. You will often see this on my wrist. I use one of these ugly, disgusting, let me see if I can focus it there, but you can get the point there, right? One of these ugly, disgusting elastic bands. I pop it onto my wrist and every time I'm thinking negative thoughts, I literally slap it against me and it's so sore, you stop thinking. 
and it will give you a chance to change your perspective. Another way to do it, and I did this off of Mel Robbins, um, she has the five second rule book, which I've done a lot of talking about. And as you're in that negative state, you stop yourself. Five, four, three, two, one, think about something else. For me, that was a little bit harder, only because it didn't have as much impact as this ugly little elastic band did on the side of your arm. Um, but I used this with something that I was really battling with a couple of years ago, and it really changed my perspective on how I thought about it. I don't think about that kind of stuff anymore at all. So get yourself one of these. It's definitely helpful. Or use that 54321 and change your mindset. Another thing to do is as you think about something negative or you find yourself in that state of negativity, find yourself something you can be grateful for. So change your mind into, I'm so grateful for the daughter that I have. I'm so grateful for the job that I have. I'm so grateful for a friend who called you that morning and gave you some advice. Whatever it is, think about something you're grateful for. I've spoken a lot about this before. What you appreciate, appreciates. So think about something good because it puts you into a good space in your head. And again, it's giving your subconscious lots of good things, grateful things to feed off, rather than negative, over-analyzing thoughts. Another thing you can do is to think about where you want to be one day. Um, so you can change your aspect from negative to, this is where I'm dreaming of being next in my job. This is where I want, what kind of a house I want to live in next. This is the kind of partner that I want, whatever it may be. Think about where your future is going and what you want from your future. It's a, just a nice escapism and it puts your head into a good space and your mind will start rather fueling your subconscious with all the dreams that you have and all the things that you want. A very important thing to do, and I have to, mention, have to, have to mention it, is that you need to be healthy. So it's about what you stick in your mouth, it's about a little bit of exercise that you do every day. It's about thinking positive thoughts, right? If you're in a good state of mind and you're feeling wholesome and healthy, and healthy is not just about eating greens, <laughs> it's about a healthy being in total. It will help you populate your mind with more positive thoughts. So to end, your mindset is everything. But it's your choice. You get to choose what you think about and where your head's going and what you're spending time on. And you can change that. You can take it from a negative and put it in a positive, just like I did with one of these little guys. So if you haven't hit subscribe, please hit subscribe now. Uh, give me a little thumbs up if you like this video. <laughs> and I look forward to chatting to you about the next thing next week. Bye.